Oh, hello and welcome once again to uh, this latest video. Uh, in this video I thought I would uh, explain uh, the GPS maps and compass uh, functionality within the DJI Fly app here on the, uh, the DJI Mini 2. So let's have a quick look uh, into, uh, into the app. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner there's a, uh, an icon of the GPS maps and if we tap that it should bring up a little uh, a little map and then tap it again and it will bring up the large the large view now if you was using um, an iPad or a tablet that wasn't connected to GPS or you did not hotspot at it uh, you wouldn't get this type of um, the view on the um, on the map but I'll show you a bit later how you can do that anyway if you're thinking of using an iPad and it's not cellular then uh, there is a way of doing it by using a hotspot so you can see on the map it's showing the home point and the the drone and also the controller um, the home point is the yellow marker the drone is the the triangle with the green phase at the front of it that's showing which way it's, uh, it's facing and then the controller, and if I spin around, you can see that the controller arrow is moving to whichever way I point to look at the drone. So, if I, uh, if I take off, take off. we go on to uh, the normal view. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So you heard that that the own point had been updated. If we just uh, move forward slightly, you can see what's happening is it's creating a little bit of a fly path. I'll just um, spin it round. This is just to give you an example of um, of the map, what it's uh, actually doing. So you can see on the map itself that the red line is the shortest way um, back to uh, back to the home point, and uh, you'll notice on on the map itself there's uh, five icons. To the right hand side if we tap the first one that shows you all your uh, your flight zones restricted zones altitude zones authorization zones and what we can do if we pinch out on the map you'll actually see that we're actually in a green zone which is uh, pretty good for for flying if we pinch out a little bit further we get all different di different types of zones coming up and this is within the DJI fly up itself so you can see the two uh, main airports around Nottingham Let's uh, pinch back in where we're at. There we go. So, if I uh, if I spin that uh, drone around slightly now and fly straight back down the red line, you'll see that it's returning towards the home point. You'll probably hear it coming over in a short uh, in a minute or two. flying above us now as we speak so <clears throat> that's showing a, a, a little fly a little flight of what we've just done let's bring it onto the end point if we're pinching a little bit further you can actually see now that uh, as I turn my body towards to face the drone That's now pointing directly at it. Let's see uh, the compass functionality on the controller itself. So 
So the other icon at the bottom, um, I'll show you the middle two uh, in a short while. This shows you your different views, your satellite view of where we're at. And the, uh, the mixed view, that shows you the roads and the terrain. I generally like to uh, generally like to use the the standard one. It makes it a little bit more clearer. Now you've noticed that the flight path's been uh, erased. That's because I caught this second button here, the second icon. Uh, that's actually an eraser. So what you can do is you can spin the drone around and uh, make a new flight path. Just spin it around, and we'll just fly away a little bit. Okay, so I'll show you that uh, functionality. So if we hit the uh, the eraser button, which is the second icon down, it just erases that uh, flight path, so you can start all start all over again. Should you uh, should you need to, you might just be uh, doing a test flight, flying around that kind of thing, and before you know it, you've got uh, a bird's nest on your screen, and that's a way of. Uh, of just clearing it clearing the data off the screen the third uh, I that will center on uh, the drone in the center of the map if we press it again and click the home that centers the uh, the home point on the map uh, and the third icon down that will uh, that will show um, a true north or that will show um, the home point um, and your own compass so let's just spin him back round again. And we'll uh, fly back to the home point. Which as you can see is creating yet another flight to another flight path. So we go back into the main view and uh, you'll see in the right hand corner you'll see another little arrow which will bring up your compass so that's the compass view now if we spin um, let me just fly away slightly so we can get the uh, the home point and the um, the controller out of, out of the way so if we spin the drone around now we can actually fly, fly uh, back to any of those those points um, let me just spin him round. You'll see that the compass is spinning. So if I wanted to fly back uh, to where I'm sat, where the controller is, if I was to push forward, um, if I just move slightly out of the way, there we go. That's moving there. That's moving my position. So you can actually see now that. Uh, I can spin it around and fly towards the home point and the home point gets closer well it's not rightly right above us now I can just walk away slightly and you can see that the control has now moved away from the home from the home point it's just updated itself uh, you'll notice there's two lines on the compass, and these are your attitude uh, indicators. So if I fly forward, you'll see that uh, it tips forward and then back as it breaks. If we fly backwards, it will dip down. And the same thing again if you go right or you go left. That gives you an indication as to what the drone is actually doing mid-air. So you might be uh, you might be hovering as we are now, and if there's some strong winds, you might see the attitude uh, lines tipping from side to side, which is like compensating for the strong winds. So it's uh, a good thing to to look at and keep an eye on. So I was saying earlier about um, <clears throat> using an iPad or a tablet. Um, instead of using your mobile phone um, basically if you uh, you load your fly app up um, and you've not got cellular you won't get the maps as you've seen in that uh, 
in that little clip there. Uh, but what you can do is you can tether your iPad or your tablet to your phone uh, as a hotspot and that way you can uh, <clears throat> you can get the, the maps instantly. So that's given you a bit of an inclination as to uh, what the maps are there for and how the, uh, they can be useful for you uh, at times. Like I say, spinning that drone around and flying back down the red the, uh, the red line back to home and uh, using the uh, attitude and compass uh, indicator as well which will obviously give you um, some good indications if you've got strong winds as to how that drone is is fighting against the wind normally you'll get pop-ups saying you've got strong winds detected anyway hope you enjoyed that we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching